Yo, yo, my beautiful star being packed on the universe. So, I just want a little update. Uh, yeah, so I've been had many addictions. I'm going on a two years sober here in a couple days. And I just wanted to say that I didn't really do it by any institution of AA or any of that nonsense uh, I didn't I, I didn't resonate with me and I had to keep finding something to do like I knew something was holding me here on earth I had to do I knew I, I knew I'm here for some reason I had to do something and I'm just sitting through these AA for record and everything and I'm like man this this ain't right this is this ain't right for me at all so I began searching. I was like, "Well, I need some some kind of mentor or somebody to to guide me to mind, body, and spirit kind of thing." So what I started doing was, I was so fascinated with shamanism. I was like, "All right," I started to. I'm sitting in the AA doing this stuff. So I looked up. I uh, started Googling like shaman, shamanism, and uh, local teachers or whatever. And so I finally emailed somebody in Cleveland here. And he said, he came back to me and said, Yeah, your best bet is to start reading. So I was like, Man, I don't want to, I don't read. I'm not a reader. I never was. I was like, Fuck. I was like, right on. So, um, what I started doing was, I was like, I don't want to read. <laughs> so, I said, well, fuck it. I started searching for books, shaman books, and I found. He recommended me one, and I found one. Uh, shamanic, shamanic, shamanic journeying for beginners comes with a CD and everything and the book and it just it, it just blew me away because I was like wow this shit's cool so I did it for a while and then all of a sudden I had this badass cold big sinus fucking I couldn't breathe so I had to like just to me it threw me off guard I'm still going through AA still doing this shit and I'm like Man, I can't. It's hard to meditate. I can't fucking breathe. I'm like, my throat's dry. I didn't know I was going through ascension sim symptoms. <laughs> so, I'm still, still, in, I've been AA for a year in 2014 to 15. It was for, it was for meth. So, I was like, there was no meth places to my uh, scheduling. So I'm like, man, there's got to be somebody out there to just... Because I'm more of a hands-on learning kind of dude. Where, if, like, I read. It's, like, hard to comprehend because I have to read, read, read. And, like, look shit up and all this other nonsense. So, uh... So what I did after that... I started getting on the phone. I can't remember, Google or whatever. I started Googling, like, soul. You know, like, soul searching and soul healing and all this stuff. And then it took me to uh, learning to bust into the Akashic Records. So I was like, wow, that's, that's fat. It's like a treasure hunt, right? Fascinating. I was like, wow, man. So then I come to this website to where uh, it was an Akashic Records website and they have workshops close to where I live, about 30 minutes away, I was like, yeah, fuck yeah, <laughs> so I emailed this person, I said, look man, I'm going through some weird shit, I'm like, I'm in the depths of hell, fucking, I see everything's breathing, I see fucking colors everywhere, and like, fucking, 
shit that normal people don't see, like the normal eye don't see, like, I mean, breathe, trees breathe in the aura, or seeing auras around everything, like everything is glowing and uh, shit like that. And she is like, comes back and says, all right, um, we offer some workshops, some spiritual workshops, come check us out. And so I was like, fuck yeah, fuck sign me up. <laughs> Fucking got to one right, uh, workshop. Then I was introduced to Reiki. I was like, wow, this is fascinating. And then the journey began. I knew where I was going. I knew why they sent me here. So that was the whole thing that got me. Because if I would have never found that, I would have never found a Reiki or fucking all this other nonsense. I'd be dead. I'd literally be dead. I'd, either that or in prison. So I just want to thank my main channel, Lucifer. I want to thank uh, Reiki. This is now I am a Reiki master, holy fire. And after I got attuned to that, it became everything became more clear what uh, what I'm really sent here to do. So you never know, man. You never know. You just keep an open mind. You got to keep your mind open to everything. Like, I, I had an open mind, but I was one that didn't believe nothing, nothing. I was like, I don't believe it. You could read me something from a, a book. I'm like, I don't believe that shit. That ain't for me. <laughs> ah, so, I thank uh, Reiki and, uh, and, by, and, key, and, and just... And, and, and then I was introduced through this process in the spring of this year. I was uh, introduced into like, I don't know, like uh, witchcraft or witches, you know, that type of shit. But, um, but I started reading. I, I was like, I've been like, re I read several books already. I can't even fucking believe it. So like... I am like a practicing uh, Wicca, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, it keeps your mind away from all the not the garbage that the world fucking puts on us. With you're sick and you have anxiety, you have depression, and you need pills, and you need this and that, and you 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 know you, you need to work five jobs. You no, dude, you don't need any of that shit. You don't you don't need any of that stuff. So. You gotta go inside. Go inside. Stop looking out here. Stop looking around for answers. There's nothing out there. It's inside of you. I didn't realize that I had the key the whole time to take the chains off of this mental slavery and all this other bullshit that I've fucking attracted. And it's not no cure, but it's an everyday thing. It's every day. Every day you gotta work hard. Every day. And every day is new, though, but it's different. It's a treasure hunt. You know, when you go around the next corner or something new, you, you're, you like, reading a book, and you're like, oh, what's this? Now, what's this? And what's this? You know, I just learned all this candle magic, and this is all kind of stuff to keep your mind away from dope and alcohol and fucking, you know, the fucking evil world out there <laughs> to live better and to get through this. And it's helping me bring a heaven to earth. And it has helped me to... Uh, like, put love to everything I touch. It's crazy. Alchemist. It's, it's just crazy. But it's a beautiful crazy because... I don't even think about... The, they say when you live in the past you're depressed you have depression when you live in the future you have anxiety when you live in the moment you have peace of mind that's what I resonate with 
I was like, yes, this is true. So, I encourage everyone to get out there and speak your truth. Don't let nobody, if they tell you, don't let them, you know, say, hey, let's, if they, if they stare, if they stare, let them burn your eyes while you moving. If they shout, don't let it change the thing that you're doing. You know, don't let it bother you for what you're doing. They don't understand what you're doing. And you're not, I'm not for you, you know, someone to understand and you're not for me to understand, but it's all, we're all going to this, you know, it's all going to the same spot. You know, yes, you do lose a lot of people. You lose a lot of friends. You lose a lot of family. But it is what it is, because you have to, you have to grow. You gotta go. You can't just stay where you, just think about, just think about the earth. It's con and, and the whole universe. Everything is constantly changing. So if we're a part of that, if we are star seeds and we are stardust, we are always changing. Because we change with everything else. So just accept the change. Integrate with the change. And everything will flow. This is what I've noticed. I'm not saying go out and be a Reiki master. You don't even have to teach. Just heal yourself. Heal yourself. We can do this. It's very simple. Everyone's like, that's too hard. Man, it's too hard. No, it's very simple. It's easy. But every day we learn something new. Something new and, and just, you know, we meet somebody, somebody new. Somebody's got something that we need and or we have something that they need. It's just the way it goes. So... It, it's it's uh, fucked up that one has to go to the depths of hell to get to the light, and some have to, and some go to the depths of hell several times and not understanding that they are the light, they have the light. This is not they're not seeking anything. They are the light. We are all light beings. Light, 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 light. I can't stress it enough. Just turn it on. Just turn it on. There's an old saying that I've been reading. Religions study the light. No, that's not it. Don't listen to me. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Religions seek the light. Science studies the light. The alchemist turns it on, or the mystic, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, this is what I, I'm sitting in a parking lot, and all these people are probably like, fuck this dude talking about, I don't give a fuck, man, fuck that shit, like I always say, just be you, go with it, be colorful, turn your light on, turn it on, because we're all here. You're never alone, because we're all right here. So I'm about to get out of here. I just wanted to share that moment with you, because it just dawned on me that I'm coming up on two years sober on the 24th, I believe. I have to recheck that. But I will do a video about that. When something bothers you, just laugh. Just laugh. Say, I don't give a fuck. Laugh it off. Life is a joke. Seriousness is illness. I love you people, beautiful star being pack of the universe. Dream on and I'll catch you around.